James 2.10 says, For whosoever shall keep the whole law, and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. What this means is, if you break one commandment, you break all ten. HMS Richards summed it up best when he said, How can a man take God's Sabbath for his own selfish use without stealing, and this without breaking the Eighth Commandment? How can he steal a thing without first coveting it and breaking the Tenth Commandment? How can he in this way put himself first, even before God, without breaking the First Commandment? How can he make such an idol of himself without breaking the Second Commandment? And how can he not break the third commandment, since God has placed his holy name right there within the fourth commandment? How can he show such disrespect for his heavenly Father without breaking the fifth commandment? How can he commit such sin, when God has said that the sure result of sin is death, without being guilty of the sixth commandment and taking his own life? How can he do all of this, and justify his words, and say that he is telling the truth, and break the ninth commandment? And last but not least, how can he go so completely away from his spiritual spouse, and join with the sinful world, without being guilty of the seventh commandment? Can you now think that the fourth commandment is of no consequence? All ten commandments are broken, literally, when the Sabbath commandment is broken. I hope and pray that you were blessed by what you heard here today. God bless.